Hello everyone. In this video I'd like to show you how to uh, remove the HVAC panel in your BMW E30. And uh, now, as you can see in the video, I've already removed a couple of bits and pieces, but that's, that's not critical. So those are just the knobs for the HVAC controls and the head unit, which are very easy and kind of self-explanatory to remove. So with the knobs, you just pull them and they should come right off. Now, uh, ironically, the, uh, the procedure to remove the HVAC unit actually starts with, the, with removing the, the whole center console. Right, so to remove the center console, you need to start off by uh, removing the lower section. And uh, it all starts with removing the handbrake boot. And this, this handbrake boot, it's uh, hooked at the back and it has a little clip at the front. So uh, all you need to do is pull it up slightly and uh, slide it off and uh, over and off the handbrake. After that, what you need to do is uh, take out the rear ashtray and use a 10 millimeter hex socket, I believe, to uh, remove the plastic, uh, the plastic nut. And then the, uh, the lower section of the center console should just lift up from where the uh, ashtray was and uh, it should slide out of the front section. Now, removing the uh, top section of the center console is a bit more involved. It starts off by you uh, removing the shifter boot, which you need to uh, pry up with your fingers from the front of the uh, shifter boot or with a plastic prying tool. Don't do it with a flat head, flat head screwdriver or you'll uh, rip the leather. And uh, after that, there's a, uh, there's a nut uh, just behind the gear lever, which you need to remove. Right, next you're gonna have to remove uh, two quarter turn screws on uh, the far ends of the uh, of the top section of the center console. And there's gonna be one in the uh, passenger uh, footwell basically, and one in the driver footwell. And now the one in the passenger footwell is easy to access with a flathead screwdriver, whereas to remove the one in the uh, driver footwell, you have to, uh, you have to remove the uh, under dash panel. And to do that, you have to remove the uh, three quarter turn screws that hold the under dash panel in place by turning each one of them a quarter of a turn and uh, removing the panel. Right, once you've removed the under dash panel, uh, you wanna turn the uh, quarter turn screws on the ends of the center console, a uh, quarter of a turn and uh, take them out. So there's one on the driver's side as I'm showing you in the video right now, and there's one mirrored on the passenger side. Then you want to uh, lift the center console up from the back, uh, from the stud uh, just behind the gear lever and uh, you can pull it out. At this point, there's nothing else holding it in place. And uh, make sure to remove the plastic uh, quarter turn screws once you've uh, turned them a quarter of a turn. Right, so once you've removed the uh, center console, you can actually move on to removing the, uh, the HVAC panel. And I'll show you in a second why it was so vital to remove the center console. Now, uh, as you can see in the video, I've already removed my head unit and I've removed some of the knobs for the uh, HVAC controls. And uh, those are really simple to remove. You just take them and you pull them. Uh, straight out, that it shouldn't present too much of a difficulty. Next, you have to remove the uh, the little plastic trim piece that goes around the sliders for the HVAC uh, airflow controls. And the way you do that is by taking a plastic tool and uh, pr uh, putting it into the slits and prying on either side. Make sure not to pry from the corners because this piece of plastic is really thin and uh, you can break it really easily. Once you've removed the trim piece, you'll be greeted by four more screws which you need to, uh, which you need to unscrew in order to disconnect the HVAC uh, controls behind the HVAC panel from the panel itself. Now, if you've got an analog, clo an analog clock like I used to have in my car, uh, what you want to do is you want to uh, pry the trim piece from around the clock out with a plastic pry tool and then you want to uh, squeeze the tops and bottoms of the, uh, of the clock and take that out of the panel and disconnect it from the back. That way you remove the clock. If you've got an onboard computer, you can leave it in place because uh, that's affixed to the panel uh, by screws at the back. Uh, next, you want to remove the four switches and or uh, blanking plates. Uh, from above the uh, head unit and the way you do that is just by reaching in through the hole left by the head unit and pushing them out from behind.
Once you've removed the uh, switches, you want to remove the two screws at the top that hold the HVAC panel in place. And they're quite small and uh, difficult to film. So uh, they're right where my finger is, right here and right here. Now for the reason why you removed the center console in the first place. Uh, you want to remove the two Phillips screws underneath the HVAC panel uh, parallel to it, basically like going upwards. And uh, I can't show those on camera, but they're uh, right where my finger is, here and here. So once you've removed those screws, at long last the HVAC panel is ready to come out. And it should come out pretty easily. And uh, so yeah, after that you can proceed to doing whatever it is that you want to do. As you can see in the video, I'm showing you where the screws are to uh, attach the onboard computer if you're doing uh, retrofit or anything like that. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that I could help you out. And if I did, please leave a like. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment.